My father has been my mentor and partner since 1986. We've been partners at Red River, and he's still alive and kicking and comes to work every day, and he's 84 years old. You don't have to look very far to see why he is successful. I mean, all you have to do is look at his father, because Jim Fritzy ran a great dealership, and, uh, and George just uh, learned from Jim. He learned from one of the best. I was born in 56, and uh, we grew up on Ockley Drive, 108 Ockley. We never moved. We lived at that house until I went off to college. I went down there and thinking I was going to be a doctor. And uh, somewhere in the spring of my freshman year, I decided I really didn't want to be a doctor. So I changed from pre-med to business. Uh, I was able to graduate in four years from LSU, came back, and I've been at Red River ever since. We met on not so good terms. Um, I stopped by the Kappa Sig house on the way to my to the SAE house, and uh, he was not too thrilled about that. And as I was leaving that night, he gave me a dip in the mud. So instead of going to the SAE house, I went home in a trash bag, basically. <laughs> I thought she was quite attractive, and I asked her if she would like to have a beer and a dance, and she said yes. And we visited for a while and danced, and then she decided it was time for her to leave and go to another fraternity house to see some more friends. So I was dancing with her, and we did a dip, but the uh, front yard of our fraternity house was uh, kind of wet from the spilled beer. She didn't talk to me much for about a year or so. Football season, he called and invited me to almost every football game, and I would go, George who? Click. <laughs> I've had quite a good time. We've been married 30 years and uh, just celebrated our anniversary and we're looking forward to another 30 years or so. And little Manu came along and she was a difficult baby. And uh, I decided I, one was a lie. He was always making sure that we were prepared for the Bozo Show if we ever got there. Do you remember the Bozo Show, the grand prize game? Um, he's the only adult I knew that watched that show. <laughs> Little Manu was a live wire, and Patton was a younger brother who was easily amused. We were having fun just watching Dad do whatever he does. He's, he's a creature of habit. And, you know, get that. Those shoulders popping. Get, get to doing the, doing the George Fritzy strut. Now, later in life, they kind of reverse roles. He's an excellent golfer, excellent. His longest drives are the ones where they go bouncing down the cart path. He's easily the worst golfer on earth. I mean, it's, it's astonishing to think how bad he is. It, it really, you watch him and he makes you worse. And we were playing with Stuart Sink who won the British Open this past year. And we were on, uh, on the very first tee, and I turned to Stuart and I said, uh, I said, Stuart, George plays golf one time a year, and he's chosen this year to play with you. And so George hit, takes, a, takes a club back and he hits his drive, and he almost hits his left ankle. And it's, it has to be one of the worst shots that, that I've ever seen. And uh, Stuart turns to me and said, does he play that often? One of the neatest things that's ever happened to him in his whole life is winning the Time Magazine 2009 National Auto Dealer of the Year. And it was totally unexpected. Um, he knew that he had been nominated along with 49 other dealers from all over the country, but you know, just never dreamt that he would actually be the winner. You know, I guess one of the proudest moments for me is when I'm in New Orleans at the NADA convention, the, the big automobile convention in January, and George uh, gets the National Dealer of the Year award. I mean, it was just, I'm not kidding you, it's just my tears came to my eyes. It's just, I was so happy for that guy. So, uh, he does so much for everybody, and it was good to see him get something back. That's probably the most um, single biggest moving moment in my life when they announced that uh, I was the Time Magazine Dealer of the Year. And uh, I meant it when I accepted the award that I accepted it on behalf of the men and women that came to work every day at Red River. We've had a very good reputation and we're very proud of that. We don't want that to go, to, go away. 
Uh, he really listens to the people that he's hired to do their job. He is proud of all of the people that work for him, believes in them, and um, he hired them to do a job and he is able to give them that reign. Very well respected. All the employees at the dealership are just crazy about George. Uh, he does what he says he's going to do. He takes care of me, he takes care of the employees, and he's fun to work for. He's, he gives us good advice, and uh, George is just a great guy. It's like the Chevrolet commercial says, he's like a rock. He is a man of his word. If he promises you an ice cream cone, he's going to deliver an ice cream cone. And that comes from a philosophy that uh, has been instilled in him from his father. One of the biggest things in life, he made Eagle Scout as a young boy, and that is something he's really, really proud of. George lives his life by the Scout Law. Um, he turns a good deed every day, and I can't recite all 12 of the, but I think it's loyal, thrifty, uh, faithful, clean, obedient, and it goes on and he's probably going to look at this and go, she should know all 12 of those. He keeps himself pretty busy. He goes to the, he would go to the opening of an envelope, <laughs> and I think he's been to several this week, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't know how George does his schedule. He is so involved with everything in the world. He never backs down from anybody. He, he probably has a bad habit. He never tells anybody no, so it probably gets him in a trap. But he is, he is, uh, he's so involved with everything, and he's involved with everything. And, and, and he is big time involved. He doesn't just get in it halfway. I was president of the Shumpert Foundation. We had had a fund drive to, to build the Sutton Children's Hospital. And the first thing that they did was remodel the neonatal intensive care unit. And I thought, well, that's something I'll never need. And sure enough, Manu had Stander a little early. And he needed all kinds of help and was in the NICU unit at Shumpert uh, for a week or two. And uh, the staff there was wonderful, but how special was it to have raised the money and been part of that and then my grandson was born and was very lucky to, to be there and have a place to take care of him here in Shreveport. He was very active at First Presbyterian and I just think his belief in God and Jesus Christ is the center of his life. He's just always there. He's that arm around my shoulder and uh, the one that I truly lean on. And the same with our, our children. Whenever there was a problem, um, they, they would come to me, but they were really concerned about what is dad going to think, you know? Um, what will dad say? I love him. <laughs> you know, he's, uh, he's definitely a character and um, so smart, so honest and driven and focused and everything else. It's, it's, uh, <clears throat> It's no surprise that you, you, you get a guy like that and you see the success that he's had, or at least I've, I've seen the success that he's had growing up. And uh, as I've uh, grown older, you, it, it's, it's no accident there. I mean, he's going he's gonna to work hard and he's going to play hard. He, he's going to be, you know, the one staying the latest at, at night, getting his work done, and then he's going to win the dance off at the party as well. So. <laughs> George has just been a real good, good role model, not just for the employees and, and uh, just for everybody, young people. Uh, I just can't imagine a person uh, uh, giving more than what George has done. He's just solid in, in everything he does. It, it's a, he's an amazing guy. He's a family man. He's a great friend. He's a, a caring boss. He's, um, he's the kind of guy that everybody wants um, as a friend, and um, I can't see why anybody wouldn't want to be like him. He's, he's just a uh, he's just a solid guy. So so, uh, and, and I'm a, I'm just honored to uh, to be able to call him a friend. He's my partner, my best friend, and uh, just an all-around good guy. I love him very much. I don't know where my life would be without him. Thank you.